Okay, my package is here. Can you see this on the camera? Not very good. Can you see this crease? Let's see here. How about now? What about now? Okay, as you can see, this big indention here. Not only was the package left in the rain, just thrown out in my yard, basically. I had the sorriest mailman. But apparently it was damaged. So I suspected the damage, but I did open it anyway to this. Is that clear on? that show up? You can see a pretty good dent in it. Something that's basically knocked the snot out of it. I didn't pay a whole lot for it. Pack life. It's about 20 bucks, somewhere around there, 20, 25 dollars, 22. Be right back. Okay, it costs $22.97. You can see that it's kind of smashed up here a little bit. Along with this edge here. And busted. But anyway. What does the product look like inside? Well, kind of smashed up as well. Look at that. And the dent made it through to there. Okay, you can see that big dent right in there. Right there. It's not Tack Life's fault that the post office messed it up. But it's 282 pieces. Rotary Tool Accessories Kit. And it's got a boatload of stuff in it. 
this keeps falling off. So this is broke. This one's broke. If that goes there. This is kind of crooked. This I have. I took it out and I'm using it. That's just another one of these. There's a little cover over here. Now the reason I did not send it back even though there's a relatively decent amount of damage to the packaging and stuff there's nothing really broke that I'm going to need to use essentially and as a reseller I know how expensive that it is to accept returns and all that kind of stuff it's um, part of the business of course but still all of this stuff is still usable all of this is still usable the only thing that really got damaged was the case and as you're aware I'm really picky on my case I want my case to be pristine because I'm going to keep that in the box as well. I'm going to keep that for when I sell it. I can get top dollar. But you really can't sell this kit. After you've used part of it. I mean somebody might buy the scraps that's left over. But it's not something that you would use for a while. And then resell it because you're using it up. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Like when you use one of these wheels, for example, it gets worn down and goes away. These little cutoff wheels, they get wore out, they get worn off, they get used up. See, these are fine. More than I'll probably ever need, actually. The closer you get over here, some of them are broke. Is that clear on the camera? So there are some of these that are damaged. But these are fine. They're not broke. Just the case is damaged. If I can get them back in there without damaging it more, but I'll just leave it like that. Okay. This is what I find. Oh, let me check this one. This is what I find that's really funny about it. Oh, okay, so they are some that's broken here. At least one. Okay, so one disc is broken. I don't actually know how many there is in one. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, count them with me, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Okay, that's weird. So one out of 36 in the pack 
if my count is correct. Um, well, if our count is correct, did you count it with me? Probably not. Okay, so that's pretty messed up. Anyway, the lid goes back on it fine. And there's three packs of them. What, what is really weird and funny is I don't know what this was. Look at that. It won't come out. It's like some kind of goo in there. Let me see if I can find something to get that out. That won't go in there, will it? Yeah. If you know what this was supposed to have been, leave me a comment, because I don't know what this stuff was. It's some kind of clay crap, though. I'm tearing it all to poo now. Well, I don't know what that was. I can't get it out of there. It's melted. It's melted in there. Whatever this was, if you know what that was supposed to have been, what kind of disc that was supposed to be in, let me know. But this is the only the only real loss in the kit was this. And I don't know if you can consider it a, a loss because I don't even know what it was. So I did not file a claim to return it. Basically, I figure I still got more than my $20 worth anyway. You have these two drums for the two different size sanding discs. Bunch of sanding discs. Although they all do seem to be about the same grit, I think. Let me... Double check that. Several tiny drill bits. Some of this stuff I'm not sure what to use it for. Here's like a little router bit. Almost a dental tool here. Some of these things are hard to get out of there. Uh-oh, that's cracked too. Probably still usable, but I don't know what to use that for anyway. That apparently got the brunt of it. These little soft things. I don't know for sure what that actually is either. So it's got a lot of parts in here I don't even know what to do with. Okay, that sanding wheel is a little 
little glue would fix that, but I doubt I'd use all of those anyway. Okay, different sizes, I guess. Yep, got small and large. I guess for the small and large parts there, you got some a lot of variety of brushes. I think this one's a nylon brush. This one's nylon. Brass or copper or whatever that is. Stainless steel. This funny looking sanding wheel. Apparently an 80 grit maybe. Polishing um, stone to, to, to whatever you call that to fix the edge on it all this stuff I think the pink is the finer one I don't know this kind of looks like that a little bit different color. And these cutting discs. That looks like a coarse and a fine. These all seem fine. Yeah, okay. So this is a super nice kit for very little money. What are these? Oh, here's some finer sanding wheels. buffing thing I guess that may not be cotton it might be felt oh that hard to get that out of there okay these a lot of parts a wide variety of parts and yeah I think all of these are the same Wait a second. Yeah. Just slightly different color. Yeah, I think all of these are the same. Don't quote me on that. I may be wrong, but... Does it say on it? Well, if the box wasn't all tore up, it does have a list on it. Let me get some zooming in on that. Okay, this plastic. Smooth that out. And that's what you get. You get four collars. 16 sanding bands, they call it. Of this size, you get 16 sanding bands of the other size. Four-piece felt wheels. And a one-piece felt wheel. Two-piece felt wheel. Okay, that's two felt wheels pointed. One-piece whetstone. One-piece wrench. one piece cloth wheel, 60 pieces of sanding paper, I guess that's those round discs. Is it the round discs? This says one piece, I think, flat wheels, flat wheel, one piece 
flat wheel, whatever that is. One piece rubber emery wheel. That might be the little one that was kind of cracked on the other side. Six piece cut off wheels fiberglass. Six piece silicone carbine grinding wheels. Six pieces aluminum oxide grinding wheels. So that's the pink and green. I guess the difference. One piece polishing compound. Oh. Oh, I bet you. Let me know if that's what that melted poop was. Is that polishing compound? Eighty cut off wheels regular. So there's one out of eighty that was busted up. Three piece Bristol brushes. Thirty piece cut off wheels heavy duty. Well, what was that one? Okay, so one of those containers may have had heavy duty cut off. They may have been different in one of the containers. I don't know. Three piece stainless steel brushes. Six piece HS HSS drill. Six piece aluminum oxide grinding wheels with shank. Okay, that would be um, these things here again. You got the two colors of them. Like you had the, the pink and the green. Like the pink and the green over here. Where you got the silicone carbine and aluminum oxide. So that's these six piece aluminum oxide grinding wheels with shank and you got four piece silicone. So that must be the sil uh, this must be the silicone because there's four of this color with the shank and six of the orangey looking ones. Two piece sand and shanks. Three piece mandrel for cut off wheels. That's those up there. One piece mandrel for felt wheels. So I guess there's a difference in those. Oh, the felt wheel ones, you just screw this in. So that would be the difference there. If I can get that out of here. Okay, that you just screw that into the felt wheel and the little hole that's in it. One-piece diamond cutting disc. Oh! You suppose this is the diamond cutting disc? Three piece brass brushes, ten piece diamond bits. So that's those fancy bits that up there with the drill bits. And three piece HSS cutter, whatever that is. Don't know what that is for sure. And that's the kit. Okay, so I don't notice any difference. Just by filling these. So I don't know which one's which. They all seem the same to me, so.
Anyway. These will be the six aluminum oxide grinding wheels with shank. And these are the four silicone carbine grinding wheels with shank. These up here, some of these are the 10 piece diamond bits. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So from this one over to this one, are diamond bits. See, so these three do you suppose oops okay so these are probably the six HSS Drill, drill bits. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that would make these three, the dental instruments, that would make those the three-piece HSS cutters, like a router cutter. You could router in there. The only complaint that I have with the kit itself I guess, other than the post office, it, it's not the kit's fault that the post office is incompetent. But it would have been nice to have these labels on it, marking what everything was, some way. Other than that, I absolutely love it. Recommend you get one if you need one. I think it's great. Wonderful accessories for your rotary tool. But I'm not sending it back, even though it's damaged. It was only 20, whatever I said earlier, 22.97. And by the time you pay shipping it here, it, it was Amazon Prime free delivery and sending it back, the seller's not gonna make anything on it. Um, and being a, a reseller, I kind of feel bad for resellers because they get the bad end all the time essentially but uh, I did want to do a review on it anyway uh, and I guess it's a mini review of the terrible post office that we have but this stuff is probably the polish polishing compound I don't know how to use that if you know that's what that is and how to use that, leave it in the comments. Is that the polishing compound? And I thank you so much for watching. I guess that's the end of this video. Please like and subscribe, especially subscribe because this channel needs subscribers to get anywhere. You can hit that notification. I still have that somewhere. You hear that? You hear that one is? I have a cutting wheel on it. I doubt I can put it in there with the cutting wheel on it, though. But that's how that works. You have to take the screw out and put the cutting wheels and stuff on that. So. not going to go on there and I broke the cutting wheel it's not going to go on there with the cutting wheel anyway so making a mess now.
<laughs> but let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. Give me a thumbs up if you don't like it. Doesn't matter. Just give me both. Thumbs up and a thumbs down. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully it won't be something that the post office messed up again. If it wasn't damaged by the post office, this is a super nice case. It's got metal pins across here. It's got good latches. That wood latch. A real good strong latches. Very nice case. I wonder what they did to bust it up like that. I don't know. Very nice kit. Before it gets destroyed by the post office.